we are working on questions on page 245 of the textbook. The first question is question number one, part B. We are looking for maximum minimum of m of x equals x plus 2 e to the power of minus 2x on closed interval negative 4, 2, 4. The textbook is asking to use a graphing calculator and find the maximum and minimum. If we use a graphing calculator, the graph of the given function when x is between negative 4 and 4 is something similar to the graph that we have here. The minimum is obviously at x equals negative 4 and it is approximately 5,900 negative uh, 5,962 and the maximum is approximately 10 when x is negative 1.5. Uh, the purpose of having this is by looking at the graph of a function, the viewer will be able to find the maximum minimum. Now let's use the algorithm that we had for finding maximum minimum of a function on a closed interval and find the maximum minimum of mx on the given interval. m prime of x, the derivative of the function, can be found using product rule. Derivative of the first function, x plus 2, is 1. And derivative of the second function, e minus 2x, is minus 2 e minus 2x. And we use product rule, derivative of first function times second function plus derivative of second times first. By doing this, m prime of x is e to the power of minus 2x times minus 2x minus 3. Endpoints are negative 4 and 4, and the critical number is negative 1.5. By plugging these numbers into the given function, m at negative 4 is minus 2e to the power of 8, m at negative 1.5 is 0.5 e to the power of 3, and at 4 is e 6 times e to the power of minus 8. As you see, the minimum occurs when x is negative 4, and it is minus 2 e to the power of 8, approximately minus 5,962, and the maximum is approximately 10. Next question, question number 5. Suppose the monthly revenue in thousands of dollars of a sale of X hundred units of an electronic item is given by Rx. Rx is 4dx2 e to the power of minus 0.4x plus 30, where the maximum capacity of the plant is 800 units. Determine the number of units to produce maximum revenue. We are looking for maximum of Rx when X is between 0 and 800. Again, we use the same algorithm. We find R prime of X, which is for the x e to the power of minus 0.4x times 2 minus 0.4x by applying product rule. Derivative of product of u and v is u prime v plus v prime u. If we set this to 0, we'll see x is either 0 or x is 5. If we set 2 minus 0.4 x equal to 0, we get x equals 5. Now we find r0, r5, and r at 800. The value of r at these points is equal to 30, approximately 165.3, and 134.4. 
the minimum is 30 and the maximum is 165.3. Therefore, the monthly revenue of $165.3 thousand dollars is achieved when 500 units are produced and sold. Next question, question number six. Rumor spread through a population in such a way that T hours after the rumor starts, the percent of people involved in passing it on is given by PT equals 100 times E to the power of minus T minus E to the power of minus 40. What is the highest percent of people involved in the spreading the rumor within the first three hours? Again, we deal with a maximum minimum question, an optimization question on a closed interval. We are looking for maximum of PT when T is between 0 and 3. P prime of T is 100 times minus E minus T plus 4E to the power of minus 40. If we set this equation to zero, we have e minus e to the power of minus t equals 4 e to the power of minus 40. We need a little bit algebraic manipulation here. We times both sides by e to the power of 4t, then we have e to the power of 3t equals 4. This means 3t equals line of 4, therefore t is a line of 4 over 3, which is approximately 0.462. P at 0 is 0, P at 0.462 is 47.2, and P at 3 is 4.98. These numbers can be easily calculated using the population function. The maximum of these three numbers is 47.2, and that means the highest percentage of people spreading the rumor is 47.2%. And that occurs when time is 0 0.462 of hours. Thanks for watching.